All right, I just got back from my first run. I'm kind of doing this video out of order. Um, this is going to be an unboxing video and ultimately a review with some test footage of me riding the Echo Reco M5. But before I begin, I, I can't contain myself. This thing is nuts. If you're on the fence about buying an electric scooter and the M5 is something that you're debating on, stop debating, just get it. I'm telling you, it's, it's insane. I just took it out for a ride. I must have put maybe about a mile on it so far. I cannot stop smiling. It is so torquey, it is so powerful. I'm 6'4", I'm over 230 pounds. The moment you squeeze the throttle, like you go flying right back. I expected to have a little punch. I didn't realize it had the punch that it's got though. And I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Um, I'm no stranger to electric vehicles. I've got a nine bot one. I ride that all over the place. It's a completely, completely different experience. Um, you know, there are certain pros and cons to having the 9Bot over an Echo Reco and vice versa. I'm not getting rid of one to have the other. The 9Bot's a lot more uh, portable, um, but the the Echo Reco is more versatile. Um, but that's a whole other video, and I'll get into that later on and do a comparison. So I'm going to do an unboxing, and then I'm going to do some test footage, and I'll show you. It's insane. The Echo Reco M5 is finally here. Uh, we're going to unbox this thing. I'm going to need a razor blade to open that up, so let's go see what we can find. Razor blade, razor blade, razor blade, where are you? No razor blade. No razor blade. No razor blade. No razor blade. I'm thoroughly confused. I thought I had a razor blade. Well, in any event, this will do. Box is heavy. Box is very heavy. Shipping weight was over 40 pounds on this. Pretty cool box. charge 50%, which means I can get this thing going and be on it potentially in 10 minutes. Let's see. Set up. Okay, handlebar, speedometer, handbrake, and one of the locking mechanisms. So this whole piece pivots off of here and this locks it. Open this up and it'll collapse right back down. Charging port. I'm guessing this is all the on off is done here. Let's see. Focus, buddy. And we have power. Zero miles. 
Very cool. Has various modes. Odometer. Trip timer. Oh, fully charged. Thanks, guys. Nice. Well, I'm going to take this thing out for a ride and see what it's all about. Echo, echo. All right. I'm going to try my best to do this with the GoPro strapped to me. One, two, three. I got news for you. This thing is fast. This thing is like ridiculously fast. I'm hoping you can see some of this. But it's got a super punchy throttle. I mean, I expected to have some torque, but god damn, I didn't expect this much torque. All right, so we're going to kick off. And then we're going to use this finger. This arcs it. Whoa, here we go. So I'm going to try... Here we go. Let's change my mode so it's my speedometer. So here we go. I'm going 10 miles an hour. Ooh. And that regen braking kicks in. When you hit that brake, you hear it. All right, let's get over here. It's a relatively flat area. We're doing about 17 miles an hour. Top speed is 20 or 22, I believe. But I am a grown adult and we're going on a slight incline. So I presume going back, we'll easily hit that 20 mile an hour mark. This thing is fast. I'm used to my 9-bot, and I usually take that up around 10, 11 miles an hour. I really try to avoid the top speed of 12, because then you get that kickback, and I hate the kickback feeling. This thing is nuts, though. Oh, my God. It's a totally different experience than a 9-bot. Not that I like one better than the other. This doesn't take anything away from the 9-bot, but this is insane. Brakes are super sensitive, which I was concerned about. But I'm glad they're really strong. You do feel it just in the least bit going up a hill. It loses that scary punchiness, which, you know, that's fine. But once you get on level ground, this thing just goes. And it's really stable, actually. It's really stable. I mean, I don't know if the video really shows it. We're doing about 14, 14, 15, 16. I mean, we're picking up. Now I'm off the throttle and just rolling down. Back on, whoa. Didn't expect to see anyone there. Here we go. This thing is way more stable than I expected it to be. And that's great. To be honest with you, I really didn't have much of a desire or necessity to go 20 miles an hour on something like this. But now that I see how stable it is, woo, <clears throat> I'm kind of less apprehensive to take it to that level, that limit.
I would have had it.